Construction of Perpendicular This module will explain construction of a perpendicular. Any two line segments that are inclined at right angles are called perpendiculars. Observe the corner of a room. There are three lines that meet each other at that point. All the three lines are perpendicular to each other. Similarly, observe the corner of a rectangular sheet of paper A, B, C, D. A, B and B, C make an angle of 90 degrees. Hence, A, B and C, D are perpendicular. Let us learn to draw a perpendicular to a line through a point on it. There are two ways of drawing a perpendicular at a given point. One, using ruler and set square. Two, using ruler and compasses. Let us learn the first method for making a perpendicular. Step 1. Draw a line of any length. Mark a point P where perpendicular is to be drawn. Step 2. Take a ruler. Keep it along the line drawn. Step 3. Without moving the ruler, place the set square on point P. Hold it firmly. Step 4. Draw a line along the edge of the set square that passes through P. Thus, we get the required perpendicular. Let us now learn the second method of drawing a perpendicular. Step 1. Draw a line of any length. Mark a point P where perpendicular is to be drawn. Step 2. With P as center, draw a semicircle of any radius. Let it intersect the line drawn at M and N. Step 3. With M as center and a radius more than MP, construct an arc. Similarly, with N as center and a radius more than NP, construct an arc that cuts the previous arc at Q. Step 4. Join PQ. Thus, PQ is the required perpendicular. Let us now learn to draw a perpendicular to a line from a point that is not on it. There are two methods for doing it. 1. Using ruler and set square. 2. Using ruler and compasses. Let us learn the first method. Step 1. Let L be the given line and P be a point outside L. Step 2. Place a set square on L such that one arm of its right angle aligns along L. Step 3. Place a ruler along the hypotenuse side of the set square. Step 4. Hold the set square firmly. Slide the set square along the ruler till the point P touches the other arm of the set square. Step 5. Join PQ along the edge through P meeting L at Q. Thus, PQ is the required perpendicular. Let us now use the second method to draw the line segment. Step 1. Draw a line L. Step 2. Mark a point P outside L. Step 3. From P, construct an arc that intersects the line in at at least two locations. Step 4. Name the two points of intersection where the arc crosses the line as A and B. Step 5. From A and B, construct two other arcs that intersect at a point immediately below the line. Let the point intersection be Q. Step 6. Join PQ. PQ is the required perpendicular of line L.